And finally, tonight across the country, people are filling out their NCAA brackets, including our own newsroom. 10 News reporter Cole Sullivan set out to master the madness with math. When it comes to March Madness, I play to win. But to beat the big dance, I need a coach. And I love using math to solve real world problems. Melissa Bowers directs the Masters in Business Analytics program at UT, and she's got bad news for me. 9.2 quintillion. So that's 18 zeros. That's how many bracket combinations there are. And what she's really telling me is I'm not going to get the perfect one, but she can still help me win. We use some form of what we call predictive analytics. She's crunched the numbers from all of the tournaments since 1985 to tell me the probability a two seed like the Vols will go all the way. So you can see uh, the data here. What's the chance they'll squeeze out a win against Colgate and dribble to the Sweet 16? We can use Bayes theorem. No sweat. A number two seed has about a 62% chance of making it to the Sweet 16, which is very good, very good odds. But to keep up the madness and march to the Final Four is no free throw. And a number two seed has about a 21% chance of making it to the Final Four. And once they get there, it depends on who else is on the court. The probability of winning it all in Minneapolis depends on who else makes it to the Final Four. If fewer number one seeds make it, then a two seed is less likely to foul out. Yeah. And as for who she has winning it all. You can't measure heart, tenacity, determination with statistics. And the balls have that and have shown that all year. All the math in the world can't beat Big Orange Spirit. Cole Sullivan, 10 News. <laughs> Cole says he's looking forward to winning our newsroom oh. pool with his newfound expertise. Is that so? Yes, indeed. Uh -huh. And we have a full video <laughs> of Dr. Bowers explaining the math behind those predictions at WBIR.com.